Eradicate the default cube. Add a circle. In edit mode, duplicate the circle. Use the fatten tool to scale it out. Bridge the two circles with faces. Extrude the circle out of it. On the bottom face, extrude down. Loop cut where you want the arms to be. Extrude the left and right faces out until you have a good length for arms. Loop cut the bottom face. Bring the corners upwards and scale out for the hips. Extrude the new hip bones out to the length of legs. Loop cut for elbows and knees. Add in an armature bone and align it with the pelvis. Extrude three times for the spine. Extrude two more times, once for the neck and the other for the head. Shift right click to bring the 3D cursor to the left leg. Add in another bone. Rotate it to match the leg. Bring the end to the knee spot. Extrude to the foot. Move the knee connector outwards to add a bend. Extrude outwards to add a foot. Extrude the knee and foot outwards. Delete their parents and tick off deform. Move the 3D cursor to the left arm. Add a bone. Move the end of the bone to the elbow. Extrude to the wrist. Extrude to the end of the arm. Name your bones. Make sure the limbs have a dot L after their name. Most importantly, the one extruded from the foot is the IK target dot L, and the one extruded from the knee is the IK pole dot L. Enter pose mode. Add an inverse kinematics constraint to the lower leg. For the target, choose the IK target bone. For the pole target, choose the IK pole bone. Chain length should be 2. The pole angle should be either 0, 90, 180, or negative 90, whichever one makes the foot face correctly. In edit mode, press F3 and search Symmetrize. Go to object mode. Select the stick figure. Shift select the armature. Hit Ctrl P and hit with empty groups. In edit mode, select the faces of the stick figure that correlate to each bone. Assign the faces to the bone in the Object Data tab. Do this for each bone. In edit mode for the armature, bring the IK poles outwards. Test out your new rig! You can use this rig to make all sorts of cool animations and renders. Try it out!